So if you're within TD SNAP motor plan and you have access um, or have gained access to the master hidden words version, um, this is what it looks like. This is the home page. You can kind of explore it, go around and see um, what else you want to possibly mask or unmask. Again, this is a very general version, um, so it's not gonna be specific to your student and you're gonna want to possibly unmask, mask, and do some personalization. This is a video just about masking, which is just hiding or unhiding words. There's a separate video about personalization. So if you're within this, one of the biggest things that was um, almost impossible for me to mask or personalize is within the food and drink, there's a lot of different things. And this is so specific to your student, whether um, they're lactose intolerant, whether they're vegetarians, you really want to personalize this to them and their dietary needs. I wouldn't do this until your second or third session. You really want to focus on very simple things early on, simple core words or phrases, depending on your student. You don't want to get too overwhelmed with personalizations unless it's very important to the family that we get some food items or some toys um, specific to the child program day. So um, you want to click on the page that you want to personalize and you can see um, within TD Snap Motor Plan, the way you hide or unhide things is using the filter and you can see this, the vocabulary filter, and you can see this in the top right hand corner. Um, it's a little filter that is green. It kind of looks like the filter that you use um, in the kitchen when you're moving one um, liquid to another container using the filter so things don't spill everywhere. It's kind of that idea where you're filtering the vocabulary so you can learn things slowly without it overflowing um, in your brain. That's kind of like the the only thing I can think of to describe it. Um, it's going to be, you'll see the little pencil with the gear, there's a little cloud, a little light bulb, but then, then the last thing in the right hand corner is that filter. And you'll see that it's green because it's filtering some of the vocabulary. So when you press on it, you can see that one of the things that I had hidden for some odd reason is nuts. Um, I think I was doing a video for somebody and I totally forgot to unhide this. So for example, that's something that you might want to personalize or mask. And um, if they are um, allergic to nuts, you might just want to hide this. You see that it's grayed out when it's hidden. Um, and you can go through here and like hide certain things that you want to personalize within here, unhide, whatever you want to do. Um, to personalize further, you want to make sure to go um, to my personalizations video. But you can see that the vocabulary filter is on. You can eat just as easily turn it off and it will tell you and all the words will show up. But you want to keep it on in this case. So when you go back to the home, um, let's say this is, um, you still want to use a few less words initially. Um, you would go up to that filter option and you can gray out more. Like let's say you don't want to have those pronouns in there or um, work on any of these core words initially. Feel free to gray more stuff out. Um, and unhide things as appropriate for your specific student. Um, when you're done, click done and you'll see that um, I unhid those words and hit them again. When you go back up into that section, let's say you want to hide they, you click done, they is hidden. You go back to the filter, you click it again, and it's right back where it was. The nice thing about the word plan is words do not move around, so that's why you want to hide things instead of starting with um, a version with fewer words. Um, the other um, nice thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you're going through some of these categories that are purple in the right hand side. They're again still organized using motor plan, but these are very specific to specific students and I tried my best um, to personalize it. For example, school has a lot of preschool. I just hit all the ones that aren't preschool words, but if your student is not in preschool, you can totally go into more things go to the filter um, and hide those words. So how you hide wor lots of words within um, a section is you want to go to the section that you want to hide. And so you'll see that in the bottom right or bottom left hand corner, you'll have remove. You also have add. And so what you want to do is you want to click um, remove all words on this page. And I'll give you this example. When you click done, you'll see that when you go to more things, school has now disappeared from that section. If you want to add it back, you go back to the filter, click on school, and click on, you can go and add all the words on this page, or 
Um, a lot of these don't pertain to our age group, so I usually remove um, all the words on this page, or you can also do remove all the words on this page and linked pages, and so that means that like language arts, math, all that stuff, if you're removing the ones on the linked pages, it'll remove those as well. Um, and you see they're already grayed out, so I don't have to do that, so I'm just going to remove words, all words on this page. And so what I'm going to do is go through and click on all the preschool words. I also include kindergarten just in case you're talking about kindergarten, but I'm going to include some of the main um, preschool words just because this is the main version that I use um, to share with other people. So when you click done, you see that the ones that I unhid are back and if you go back to home, more things and school is back on there. So again, you can really personalize it. It's super easy to personalize this system. Um, and this is how you would personalize it using hiding and unhiding words. If you want to personalize by adding family members or other things, go to my next video, which is more about personalizations.